These cute little water bears, or tardigrades, are some of the hardiest, toughest animals on the planet. Tardigrades have lived through all the major mass extinctions. But tardigrade fossils? That's another story. Because tardigrades are so tiny, most are under one millimeter, their bodies decompose very, very easily after they die, leaving behind no trace of their existence. This is a newly found tardigrade fossil. Researchers called it a once-in-a-generation discovery. Tardigrade fossils are incredibly rare. That's why Javier, who studies fossils of insects and insect-like creatures like tardigrades, said he and other paleontologists were so excited. This is only the third ever tardigrade fossil on record, and it's roughly 16 million years old, making it the youngest. It's major news because it could provide evolutionary biologists much needed clues about how tardigrades and life more generally evolved on Earth. Plus, why some species survive and others don't. If we are able to better understand the evolution of tardigrades in our planet, we can really get a better grasp of what are the limits of life. The tardigrades that exist today can live in water and moss, but they can survive in the most extreme environments deep ocean trenches, polar ice, even space. Javier says the long-term hope is that understanding what makes tardigrades so extraordinary might help us develop new technologies that would make traveling and living in space easier. For example, during times of stress, they can squeeze out all the water out of their tiny bodies and shut down their metabolism. That can extend their lifetime. Imagine if we can sleep through the months-long journey to Mars. But that is something that happens way later. We have to really understand the origins first and the evolution before we can do anything else. That's where the new fossil comes into play. It starts to fill in some of the tardigrades' 500 million year history. Paleontologists stumbled upon it in a small piece of amber or fossilized tree resin from the Dominican Republic. Que lindo. Yes, it's very pretty, but instead of looking for mosquitoes carrying dino DNA, these researchers were looking for ants, which you can see here. Then under the microscope, their eyes turned to a small speck on the bottom left. Let's zoom in. That's the ancient tardigrade right here, and it belongs to a whole new species. That's part of why this mini blob of a specimen is so exciting. To study the ancient tardigrade, a graduate student in Javier's lab put it under a special microscope. The way it works is super cool. So, hold on to your butts. It uses lasers to take super high resolution images. When the laser hits the fossilized tardigrade, the beam excites molecules that make it up. The excited molecules give off light that the microscope captures to create an image. See those colors? The colors are telling you basically how far or how close the animal is relative to you. So if it's blue, it's further away, and if it's red, it's closer to you. A little bit like telescopes and space, you know? Using this technique, Javier's graduate student was able to capture the Dominican tardigrade from different angles. The thing, like, just was beautiful, like in, in great detail, and not only the whole body uh, and from different directions, but also he was able to get this super nice fine detail of the claws themselves. That's important because scientists use the structure of the claws to figure out what kind of tardigrade they have in front of them. When the fossil photo shoot was all said and done, the researchers had also gotten close-ups of the animal's throat and other body parts. It is the first time ever that a fossil tardigrade has been imaged with this level of resolution. And all this testing led them to discover one big difference. The fossil tardigrade lacks certain tiny structures in the throat that their currently living relatives have. Plus a similarity. They both have these needle-like structures they use for feeding. They basically stick these needles out and they they suck the juices out of like cells, right? These observations led them to conclude the new tardigrade whose name is Paradoryphoribius chronocaribeus. It's actually not all that different from tardigrades that still exist today. And that's a big insight. Evolution can be quite rapid, but it can also be quite slow in some cases. We can imagine 16 million years ago in the Caribbean, like you had like some similar animals kicking around and that, that has uh, its own evolutionary value to it. So what does all this mean? 
Well, it's another reminder of what makes these animals so special. And it's an important step towards figuring out how these tough little creatures came to be and why they can survive almost anywhere. The new fossil will go to the American Museum of Natural History in New York. David Grimaldi, an ant specialist there, told me that tardigrades extreme survival skills like going dormant during times of stress might actually help them stay the same over millions of years. Animals adapt to survive and tardigrades are masters of survival. If you want to learn more about extreme creatures, check out the links down below. And if you haven't already, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Hasta luego, nos vemos pronto. Gracias.